Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Dynex on a Windows 10 PC. So let's take a look. So to begin mining Dynex, the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up a wallet. So I'm going to go over here. This is the official Dynex wallet. I'll make sure I link this in the description below as well as a blog post to outline all the steps. This is a little bit different than the other installations that I've done. So I'll make sure I have every step outlined for you. So the first thing that's going to want to do uh, when you're setting up your wallet is put in an email address and password. I've just entered in my email address and password and go ahead and click on submit. And now it's asking me to sign in. So I have my email address and password already entered in there and then we can click on submit. So here we are in the web wallet. If you want to buy Dynex, you have a link right over here to do that. It's going to be very similar to any other wallet that you have. So you have some links down here at the bottom. Uh, if you want to send, you can click on send and then you have the ability to put in the address and the amount that you want in here. Uh, but what we're really interested in is the receive address. So click on receive and it's going to produce a wallet address right over here. So this is going to be the wallet address that we're going to need to insert into our miner. So we get paid for mining Dynex. So that takes care of the wallet section. Let's go ahead and start setting up our miner. Okay, so I'm just going to open up another tab here and go to the GitHub page for Dynex. And here we are at the Dynex webpage. Dynex Solve version 2.2.5 is the latest one that's out. This is going to be the latest release uh, that you can see over here up at the top. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to take us over to the next page where we can scroll down a little bit here. And we're going to scroll down to the file section. And we're going to be looking for the one that's labeled Windows. And here it is. We'll go ahead and select that. And it's going to download the file. You can use any unzipping tool to unzip this folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to launch it. I'm using 7-zip. Here is the folder. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this and put it into my mining folder, which is on my desktop. I have all my mining, have all my mining software in here. Uh, once that's been extracted, you can go ahead and close this and I'll minimize this window for now and I'll double click and open up my mining folder. Okay, and here we are inside our mining folder. You can see I've just extracted the Dynex Solve folder. Uh, this folder has been added to the Windows exclusion list. If you have any issues with missing files or anything related to mining, Windows might see it as a threat and automatically remove it with Windows Defender. So you can add that folder into the Windows exclusion list. And if you check out this video, I'll walk you through the steps if you haven't done that already. So we're going to go ahead and double click and open this up. The most important file that we have in here is the Dynex Solve. You're going to need obviously all the DLLs, but without this, we can't do anything. Uh, what we want to do right now is create a batch file because you'll notice that there is no batch file here. If you just double click on this executable file, you're not going to mine anything to your wallet and that's going to be a problem because you're not going to get paid. So let's go ahead and open up Notepad. Okay. And I have my uh, Notepad open up over here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be copying in a template. Now, this is the one that I'm getting off the pool website. And there's a few things that we have to add. Uh, and one thing I want to make sure that you definitely recognize, because I've noticed this as being an issue. Uh, if you're running, trying to run this batch file and it doesn't work, uh, you want to make sure that the executable name is the first thing that's in the list. Right over here, I'm going to be taking the executable name. This will vary depending on the version that you have. So I'm going to just highlight all of this, I'm going to copy it, go back over to my batch file, and then I'm going to take this section and I'm going to paste it in. Okay, so we have the full file name right over here. It's matching exactly. The next part is going to be your wallet address. So right over here is the space for the wallet address. I'm going to go ahead and open up my wallet and I'm going to click on the copy and it has it in the clipboard. So I'll minimize it and then I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. So that's a very long alphanumeric wallet address that we've just pasted in. The next part is going to be the pool by default. Uh, we have the eco pool address in here. That's the pool I'm using right now. It's not the only one that's available. I'll list some other options in the description. If you're not comfortable with this and you want to try something else, I'll leave that up to you. So I'm going to open up the pool page. You're going to select the server that's closest to you. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to select it. Uh, the default port for all hardware is 19666. That's going to be fine with me. I'll minimize this and I'm going to paste in my pool address. Okay. And I'm going to be leaving the port as is. And then your worker name goes right over here. I'll make sure I put one in here. Okay. And there is my worker name. All we have to do is now save it. So I'm going to go to file and then save as. And we're going to give it a meaningful name. You want to make sure that you're in the mining folder. Uh, okay, so you want to make sure up here at the top, I have it on my desktop mining folder, and then we have the Dynex folder there. I'm going to be giving it a name and I'll just call it, I'll give it a name. I'm going to type in mine Dynex. That's fine by me. And then we want to put in a period and then BAT for batch file. Mine Dynex.bat. Again, you can call it anything as long as it's dot bat because this is our batch file. Then we're just going to click on save and we're good to go. We can close this window and back over here. You can see our new batch file is listed. The only thing that we have to do next is double click on it to launch it. 
Okay, there we go, and it's gonna start mining. It might take a few minutes for everything to get started. You'll hear your GPU fan start going wild as it does its benchmarking tests, and it'll begin to mine Dynex directly to your wallet. One of the most common things I get asked is, when do I get paid? So let me go back over here, and we're gonna go over into the main section. This is the main dashboard over here. You can see that the minimum payout is gonna be one Dynex. So once you've mined one Dynex, it'll get paid out into your wallet. The pool fee is also listed here as 1%. The payment intervals is two hours. So every two hours a payment's made once you exceed the minimum. And to find out how much you've mined so far, you can go over into worker statistics and then paste in your wallet address. So go ahead and paste my wallet address in here. Okay, I'm pasting in my wallet address and it's gonna give me all the statistics that I need right over here. Um, it's just begun mining right now. This might take some time for it to actually start to accumulate anything. Uh, but here are the key areas. Uh, it lets you know your pending balance, the total paid, how much is paid in the last 24 hours, and how much is paid in the last seven days. It also gives you your current payout estimate. And below down here, you can get all the statistics of your current hash rate and everything else related to your mining status. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.